All right, guys. Uh, it's me, Sam, here again. I know it's been a while, but today we're going to be going ahead and talking about the G Wolves HCS Plus. So, some basic specs that you can probably look up online. Uh, it uses a Pixar 3399. It's capable of 4K Hertz pulling. Uh, for me, it came at a 52 gram weight with the grips and my mouse gates on there. Uh, it's using, you know, Zippy 60 millions. Um, I've never really used Zippies before, but I think it's a you know it's it's actually really nice they're pretty tactile uh, there's a lot of feedback going on there and um, I've heard a lot of bad things about G Wolves uh, but I went ahead and you know bought the mouse gave it a shot anyways just to try it out and I actually love this mouse it's great um, <laughs> yeah so let's go dive into it um, it's still using that micro USB it's like weird because the cable that it comes with is only specific like it's the only micro USB cable you can use. So you can't use like any proprietary ones because it has these like little grooves. On, if you can see that, um, where only that specific micro USB or something smaller could fit in there. I've tried using like, you know, my G pro one and, uh, different random micro USBs that I have laying around here and they just don't fit in there. So, uh, that is quite unfortunate. Um, but you know, so the shape comparison, um, it looks like a, you know, mini G Pro, I guess, uh, in, in main and like most of the pictures, but in comparison to the G Pro I'm currently using, um, yeah, I can, I can see why, but when you flip both like mice over, you can definitely see that the, the HTS plus is definitely more aggressive, especially, um, you know, like with the rear flare right here, it is a lot more aggressive and less flat. I mean, the G Pro does, you can definitely feel those curves on the G Pro too, but it's it's definitely more minimal than you can feel on the HTS. The HTS does feel a lot more aggressive, and for some people, it feels a little bit more comfortable. I mean, for me, it does too, um, to a degree. Um, but I do like, you know, the size of the G Pro, which is nice for me, because I, I do usually use small mice, but, you know, uh, the G Pro, after like a weight reduction and, you know, like some upgraded BTL skates, it just feels amazing. So that's what I've been meaning as of recent. Um, got rid of my Starlight. Um, so I would honestly say in terms of shape, this definitely feels much more like a Viper Mini. Uh, in the hand. A Viper Mini with like, you know, a little bit more of a hump towards the middle. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, very, very comfortable. Uh, I've seen some people really love this shape. Um, in comparison to the old Hottie, it's a little bit longer. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure it feels, because uh, I feel like the Hottie is more like a Mini G Pro. Uh, I would say the Hottie S. I would say this is more aggressive. So, uh, it kind of comes to a flare out. Um, towards the front, there's a rear, there's a flare towards the front, and the the middle grip width or is is quite it's quite narrow in comparison to the G Pro. So, um, in terms of like you know like what grips uh, I use, I use like a relaxed claw grip. So I'll, you know like my fingers kind of my fingers kind of rest on the side here, more towards the top, um, and it kind of sits in between my. Uh, like these two points in my palm here is where it usually sits. My palm at the top, there's still some room there usually. Um, but yeah, it's nice. And then sometimes I'll, you know, uh, what I like about the mouse is it's so small that, you know, if I need to pull it out of my palm or, and, you know, make some micro adjustments is pretty easy to do so. Um, I would say um, for fingertip, you know, I don't fingertip at all, but if I were to, I would say it wouldn't be too bad. You know, it's not a bad contender, but I feel like, if you're going to go ahead and you know fingertip, I would recommend the HTX. That would probably be better. Um, one thing I really really like about uh, what G Wolves did with this new mouse is that they made the bottom shell um, pretty much flat. So you can add any skates on there as long as it physically fits on the mouse. So the Viper Mini uh, skates fit great. These are Viper Mini Tiger Ice skates, and they just fit perfectly on there. It's almost like one to one, so it fits amazing. Um, so I would say that you're definitely able to claw the shape. Uh, palm, you you could perhaps if uh, you could palm grip it, perhaps. I mean, yeah, you can if you have smaller hands. I mean, palming doesn't feel too bad. You know, you'd have to, you know, definitely. 
Uh, yeah, it's not that bad. You, you know, you can get some overhang for sure, but it's just because it's a smaller mouse. You know, like I think if you're going to palm grip, I would say definitely go with a Death Adder V3 Pro or like an EC2. Um, those historical palm grip mice, like, you know, like you just have a much better experience doing that. Um, I would say that honestly, this mouse is definitely one of my top performers in uh, most of the games I play. Uh, I've just been going crazy with this mouse, which has been nice. You know, I do love it. Um, but there is one thing that really, really bothers me, um, is that, I don't know why it bothers me, it really shouldn't, um, that, so these are some of the things that you get with the packaging, g -Wolves always likes to throw in a bunch of goodies and stuff, um, but I lost some of the stuff, but this is the stuff that I basically kept, this is like the important stuff, so, you have your like little earwax pickers, um, <laughs> to turn on the mouse, I don't know why this is even a thing, so, you just, you know, flick on the that little, this little black uh, power switch right here and then you just turn it off and on. It's actually crazy that this is even like a thing. So basically what I do is I literally just turn it on and just never turn it off because it's just like an annoyance to me. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, honestly, when you think about it, but I mean, yeah, it can be annoying at times. Like, yeah, I just don't know why they do that. Like, why can't you just, I, maybe for, Made for weight, but honestly, like, I would take a couple extra grams, like, make it 55 grams, um, <laughs> just to have, like, a normal working fucking switch. That would be awesome. Um, nonetheless, you get, uh, you get these wonderful glass gates here. Uh, I have used them. I mean, honestly, the glass gates are a little too much for me. Uh, they're... Uh, especially because I mainly play TAC FPS, so, um, you know, the stopping power on these are not the best for me. Um, but they do, these are the skates for the old hottie, and they do have these cool little designs on there, which is pretty cool. Um, you do get a smaller battery. Um, so this is a 75 milliamp hour battery. The one that's uh, originally in there is a 300 milliamp, so it's not the worst. And you get like a little battery tester, so you just, you know, slap it in there. Because um, I did hear that they were having issues with uh, their batteries at one point. And so you just turn it on and, oh, like it works, you know. And so that's basically how you test if the battery is good or not, essentially. Neat little thing from Jewels. They, they always throw in a lot of stuff. So, I mean, like, you know, you can't go wrong there. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm leaving this. Um, and then you can go ahead and, and you get some grips. I kind of lost... Uh, these this side grip right here but i mean these grips are not bad the only thing is is that if you put them on um taking them off is is terrible so i mean but it does add a nice grip width and you know if you want like you know just a little bit more grip width or you know a little bit more uh what is it like just grip in general you know this is this is pretty good um because this mouse essentially has like no coding. Um, you need grips, in my opinion, for this mouse. Like, uh, there's no way. Um, so for me, I went ahead and bought the old Hottie S grips, uh, the core pad grips from Lethal Gaming Gear. Shout out to Lethal Gaming Gear. We all love you. Um, and yeah, uh, they fit perfectly on here, and they they fit nice. I would I would say that the core pad grips are definitely my preference. Um, Mainly mainly because of the fact that it still keeps the relative shape the natural shape of the mouse um, and uh, Yeah, and the grips are insane like the adhesive they're insane I mean honestly, I would say oh, I would suggest if you don't get this or if you get these grips get the black like the white just gets super super dirty um, Build quality which is insane um, I've heard a lot of bad things about them, but they use this new thing where, I don't know if you guys could see that, uh, they use the PCB to support the whole structure of the mouse. So when you squeeze it, it feel, unless you're willing to break your mouse in general or death, like if you death grip it, like this feels solid. Like there's no creaking, like no flex. It's crazy. Um, yeah, so this is, um, it feels solid. Like uh, when I first got it, there was no rattling. But there's a little bit of rattling there, uh, mainly because I uh, changed the scroll wheel to a black one. Um, and that's something I was okay with. Um, and, like, I can't feel it in-game. It's like, it's whatever. Um, so the battery life on this mouse in 4K is horrendous. Um, I probably get, like, two, 
two, three days out of it, max, if I'm using it 4K, um, depending on how hard I'm gaming. Um, yeah, so, I mean, the 4K isn't bad, and also, I, I don't think my PC is strong enough to, you know, detect the 4K. I mean, um, I have a 144 uh, hertz monitor, so, I mean, like, I feel like for me, it wouldn't be that noticeable, but I feel like for people that are 240 and above, like, you'd probably be able to tell the benefit of 4K. Um, it's just for me, I can't really tell the difference. I mean, it's slightly smoother and like, you know, I feel slightly more, more accurate. Um, but for me, like in terms of the battery life for me, that's like a terrible trade off. I'd rather just use the thousand Hertz and, you know, play normally and like, you know, be able to have my mouse, uh, not be charged like my phone, like every night. But I mean, then again, that's also not that big of a deal. Um, they, yeah. So. I'm gonna go ahead and do like a like a sound test um, of the mice. I think the side buttons are a little mushy, but they're not bad. Yeah, they're okay. I mean, like like there's no complaints. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick sound test real quick. These are the Zippy 60s. side buttons and scroll click so the scroll wheel usually doesn't sound that bad to be honest but it's just because I added the black scroll wheel uh, the scroll will actually come when it comes it's actually very light um, and not this loud but I just thought the black scroll wheel would look sick I think I saw it on reddit and I was like okay I definitely have to do that so I think it looks awesome like that and so like yeah it's a little loud but I mean I don't really care that much uh, it's nice but I do have some uh, I do have a difference in clicks on my left and right clicks actually minimal pre-travel definitely post-travel And honestly, you know, like performance in game, like it's a 3399, it's, you know, a flawless sensor. I've had no issues with it at all. I didn't have any issues with the 4K either, like none of it cutting off, uh, no issues, no stuttering. Um, honestly, Jewel's made a banger of a mouse. This is an amazing mouse. I think honestly with the mice game these days, it's like, it's really coming down to just shape, right? Like whatever the preference is, because every mice is... Almost, like all the new mice that have come out are all performing flawlessly, you know, like the, like unless you get something from like Amazon, you know, that's like, you know, like a $20, $15 mouse that's just terrible, you know, like, um, I do, I do also like that they have the DPI button on top. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like it, but for me, it's nice. I mean, I think it's more reasonable to put it at the bottom, but I mean, you know, I don't really care that much, but all in all the the build quality is solid on this mouse. It's it's phenomenal. It's amazing. Um, this is the HTX Ace, I believe, bottom shell because I got both, and you know I love the Ace so much. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, like for the 4K, I'm putting it in here because I just think it looks it looks beautiful. Like it looks like it looks really really nice. But all in all, conclusions of this mouse, I would honestly say that if you are looking for a claw a small claw grip my like mouse, this is a really good one. Um, palm grip can be done if you do have smaller hands. Mine are 19 by 10. Um, but um, I would say that if you're also waiting for like a Viper Mini, this is a pretty close, you know, contender for the Viper Mini. Um, and I think it's a it's a great mouse. And you know, Jewels did a fantastic job. Uh, this is my first experience with a Jewel mouse. I've never had one before. And honestly, I think the shape is phenomenal. Um, it's very comfortable uh, for all day use. Um, uh, I mean the zippy switches are okay with me. They're they sometimes feel a little mushy, but in comparison They're not bad like these are my this is my uh, G pro with Hano Juano blue shell pink dots Hold on. They're a little 
these clicks definitely feel better, 100%. But, you know, the zippies are not bad, you know, like I didn't have to go in there and mod it, so that's the biggest thing. Um, just out of the box, it's pretty good, you know, you get a, a top tier mouse and it just depends on, you know, what you like, especially with the new Razer Viper Mini Signature coming out recently, like, I think I would rather have this than the uh, Viper Mini Signature, because that mouse is insanely expensive, like 280 bucks for for a mouse that looks like a cheese grater, but then again, you know, some people like it, you know, it, it, I think there was a new um, update that they did that dropped like 8K Hertz pulling. Um, uh, yeah, for me, my machine definitely won't notice the difference between that, but nonetheless, uh, Jewels did a great job on this mouse, so good. Um, I can recommend this for anybody who's looking for a small claw grip mouse, uh, you do need grips. But if you're looking for fingertip, I would I would stray away from this and probably go for the HTX. It's just a better experience overall, in my opinion. Uh, I did have the HTX, and I think the HTX is great, um, but just not the shape for me. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will be getting back and showing you guys another uh, video in the future. All right, peace.